Hello and a very warm welcome to this wellness session. My name is Els. For those of you who join us for the first time, let me give you a little bit of a background. Several of us working for One Point Consulting or meditating on a regular basis. The meditation we practice is called Raja Yoga. It's the yoga of the mind. We have started this project Oneness way back in May 2020. That was in the middle of the pandemic, the lockdown, and it was a very stressful time for everyone. So one of our friends suggested, as he knows that we are meditating, he was saying, why not to share some of these thoughts and ideas with a wider audience? And that was the, the start uh, of the project. What we have been doing so far is every Friday, it's every fortnight now, we invite an experienced meditator and we ask him or her to share their thoughts about a particular topic, but also to guide us into a short meditation. So far, we have, we have had more than 110 guest speakers from all over the world. All the sessions have been recorded and they are available on YouTube. Today, I'm very pleased to welcome Nancy Fröling, who joins us from Holland. Nancy is based in Zwolle. She works as a personal trainer and coach for businesses and organizations. She enjoys reflective writing and in her free time, she loves to be in the nature, but she also loves cooking, painting, baking, making music. Nancy has studied at University of Twente in the Netherlands. And as a member of the national board, she helps overseeing all the activities of the meditation centers in the Netherlands. So very warm well welcome to you, Nancy. And the topic she has chosen for the session today is be yourself, everyone else's part is taken. So warm welcome, Nancy. Thank you, Els. Warm welcome from my side and greetings from the Netherlands to all of you. So Els introduced the topic, be yourself everyone else's part is taken. This is a topic close to my heart, so I'm very thankful to be with you today in this topic. Be yourself. If I speak to myself, I like to do that in meditation, to speak to myself. I could say, be myself. What is it to be myself? Who am I? Who are you? But you can speak to yourself. Who am I? That is what I would like to explore today with you. Who am I? How can I be myself? How can I take my part? What is my part? And how do I play it? I would like to do two things today, two or, yeah, two or three. One is to explore who am I? And the other thing is to explore, the second thing is to explore what is in the way of being me? What is blocking me from being me? And then we can meditate on that. And in the introduction else gave of me, I like to do reflective writing, but this is not reflective writing. But if you feel like writing, of course, you can write a little bit in between. But I like to reflect, and we can also do that without writing, to re reflect inside. So let's start and get into this topic of today. Let's start with becoming silent inside, noticing how I'm sitting, noticing how I'm breathing, and noticing how, noticing how I'm doing at the moment, how am I doing at the moment? 
What are my thoughts? What are my feelings? Is my body giving signals that I can observe? It's not the time for fixing anything. I welcome my thoughts, my feelings, signals from the body. I welcome them. I welcome myself in exploring the topic of being myself. Do you have any experience of really being yourself in this life? Do you have any experience of really being yourself? Or if you doubt if you have, and that's okay, can you visualize you being really yourself? So do you have a, a memory or can you visualize being yourself? What did it feel like? What did it feel like? Or how does it feel? Okay, so this was a quick, quick meditation, but we will meditate more. Being yourself, being myself. When I was preparing for this topic, just a few very, perhaps simple thoughts and feelings came to me. Being myself and remembering when I was myself or when I am myself, I feel light. There are no worries in the head. I'm not occupied with thoughts or feeling sensations in the body. So I feel light, happy, uncomplicated. No, no worries, I would say. Happy, light, no worries. Focused, that I know where I, where I have to go, that I'm clear, clear inside, know what to do, what's my goal, and it can be small goals or big goals. So I could say it is like I'm feeling on track, whatever that might be. I feel on track. I feel on my track. And early this morning, when I looked back into my life, I do that more regularly, but especially on this topic, when I looked back, because I had the feeling that not uh, in the beginning of my life, I was not really on track. But now I notice that that is not possible. I will explain. I had the feeling uh, for a long time in my life that I was not really showing me or I was wondering what is my path, what, what, how can I be me? But this morning when I looked back, I could see glimpses of me being me throughout my life, but not um, continuously or not, yeah, not continuously, not constantly. There were like glimpses. So I have always been there, but I thought I wasn't. And, um, and what I like about this topic, be myself, because everyone else has their part. And, and the topic precisely is be yourself, because everyone else's part is taken. So I cannot take another one's part. But... 
mm, I don't have to be uh, worried or occupied with other people's part. I feel life is um, not perhaps intense enough, but there is uh, work enough to do to be on my track. So I don't have to be occupied with others. I can care about others, but I don't have to be involved in others part in that sense. So today is not about thinking about others or other parts, other tracks, but really aligning to my track. And I would like to ask you, do you feel like you are on track at the moment? Do you feel like you take your part? And it's, the question might be intense because perhaps you, you don't feel that much on track. And then no worries, because today we will do some healing meditation. And this is meant to be like a soft introduction into this topic. So if you are not so comfortable at the moment, um, I hope you are okay with the topic and okay to continue. So can you ask yourself, where are you at the moment? Do you feel you're on track? And can you give a percentage to it? I like percentages because then I feel like, am I 40% on track, 80%? Can you sense it? Can you feel it? Or do you have thoughts about it, where you are today or in this period of time? And I, um, I shared some feelings and thoughts with you about feeling happy, feeling light, no worries, concentrated, like focused, knowing where to go. Do you have other thoughts or feelings on being on track, being yourself? What, what thoughts and feelings connect to you being yourself? And you can write them down, but you can also just have them close to you, close to your heart. What thoughts and feelings belong to you being yourself. Is that also lightness, happiness or joy, easy going perhaps, forgiving. I feel when I'm very much myself, I can easily forgive and I can easily share, but now I'm Filling it in again. I ask you a question, but I'm responding. <laughs> I'm responding to your questions. That's not possible. <clears throat> I would like to share a story. Now the body is um, 48. And when the body was 18, when I was 18 years old or 20, I went to a physiotherapist and he shared a story with me. And I would like to share it with you. And I think it was about me, but I noticed later on. The physiotherapist, he was a very nice man. And he shared a story about someone 40 years old, working as a manager. And this physiotherapist asked this man, are you happy being a manager? What did you want to be when you were a child? What did you really want to be when you were grown up? And I don't know exactly the word in English. I forgot to look it up. But it's, it's something like a craftsman working with the hands and making beautiful things with wood, like tables and chairs. And so the man said, oh, I would definitely not be a manager. I wanted to make um, uh, chairs and tables and beautiful things with wood. Oh, said the physiotherapist. Oh, so what happens that you are a manager? Well, yes, my parents said this, and then I studied that, and I thought it would be good if I, well, and then you have a career, and then you make a good money, and well, things like that. And I thought about this conversation later, and I felt I was at a phase at that time, I liked my study, but perhaps I liked it more now afterwards. But at that time, 
I was doubting what to do and how to find my track in life because I had a few gifts that felt were not aligned. I was doubting to be a musician or to be in business, what was very much like my family line. So I felt if I go in business, then I will be supported. But if I'm a musician, can I earn money as a musician? Can I make a living out of it? Or I wanted to be a doctor. <laughs> so that's that sounds perhaps, but, but I don't know if you recognize it, but I just want to be open and honest. So that was quite uh, intense, uh, what to choose. And so I chose business and I'm, I'm happy with that. And I now I am... Um, I um, uh, integrated music very much into my life and, and not being a doctor, but working as a healer, which I didn't know at that time. So I can combine healing and coaching very well. So I'm, I'm on track um, for, a, for a good percentage. There is still work to do. But I wanted to share you this story and um, I hope I don't inspire all of you to quit your job today because then blame me but this is about really do you know what you wanted to do when you were little did you have a good picture of yourself being grown up do you have a feeling a sense of who you are what life would look like and it might be very different my life looks very different from what I thought when I was little but it fits at the same time it fits at the same time but it's, it can be very different. Yeah, our lives can take, uh, all changes happen in life. So now about the blocks. So who am I? Um, what is being myself? And you can explore more about that. And now what is blocking me from being me? What is blocking me? So it could be the story with the manager wanting to be a craftsman. And I hope the word is correct. And otherwise, I hope you understand me. So what is blocking me from being me and doing what fits my, my being? What is blocking? What is in the way? Do you have a sense of that? What is blocking you? Or what happens to you if you're not on track, if you don't feel you are being you? Do you feel what is blocking or what happens? You can write it down or you can feel it or have thoughts about it. What is blocking? And a bit later, we will start a meditation on that. I would like to do a meditation commentary with you at the end, that we can find a block and perhaps transform it or be soft with it, because the block might have helped us survive until now. I want to return a little bit to the first topic, this uh, being myself. What I liked when I start meditating um, and as mentioned, Raja Yoga meditation, it said the soul, the inner light, has the qualities of peace, love, happiness or joy, purity, power, wisdom. And everyone has those same qualities. So I thought, oh, so everyone is the same. No, we could say we all have the same elements, the same ingredients, but how does it look like in my life? How do, do I express love? How do I express joy or um, wisdom or power, inner power? So we could say we are all equal and I feel that we are all equal, but we are unique. So how do the inner qualities express themselves? It is too much to give a topic on this today, and um, but you can explore more on that. How does love express itself in you? How does wisdom express itself in you? Because we all have our unique ways of that. I 
I said in the beginning that I'm so thankful for this topic, and I am, I really am. But I also feel that it is a huge topic, it's a big topic. So this could be an introduction for yourself, and the questions I asked, you can explore more if you feel touched by this topic. What I would like to do is do a, a, a healing meditation commentary with you, just a few minutes to get a feeling. I would like to, um, not, not that I enter your heart, <laughs> but this meditation commentary will be about entering your heart and see how beautiful your heart is. It is like a room. So now I explain and then we do the meditation. So your, your heart can be like a house or like a room. And what is inside? What, what beauty do you find inside? But perhaps you also find something and it can be like an object or like a thought uh, or something like a shadow that is like blocking your happiness, your lightness, is blocking you from being you. So here I give you a key. <laughs> of course, it's in, in vibrations. I give you a key and you already have that key. It's the key to your heart. You own that key. Shall we start this exercise, this meditation commentary? Are you all ready? I hope. Let's start a meditation. We could also say it's healing our heart. It's removing one block or two blocks today so that we can shine more, that we can be more open. Let's start. I relax my body. And I breathe gently. I don't have to work hard, not in my thoughts, not on breathing. I relax and I try to relax a little bit more. And I am happy that I have the key to my heart. It's like a golden key, gold color. And here I am opening the door to my heart. I open the door from a room or an apartment or a whole house, doesn't matter. I open the door to my heart. I just visualize it. open the door, I lock the door behind me, and now I'm in the room of my heart. And I look around, and I feel how it is to be in my heart. How does this room or this house look like? something that surprises me in beauty that I didn't know or that I didn't see for a long time, perhaps. What do I see? What do I feel? How is it to be in my heart, to walk around in the room of my heart? What is it that touches me in beauty? Can I have a sense, can I have a feeling of how it is being me, being me? And being with myself and what would be my contribution to the world? Can I have a sense of that when I'm now in my heart, in the room of my heart, or the house of my heart? Can I feel what is my contribution, contribution to the world? My uniqueness? And now I would like to invite you 
do you see something that might be blocking, that might be in the way of being you? Of sharing yourself with yourself and with the world. Do you see something that is blocking, like an object or whatever? It can be a thought, it can be a, like a board with a, a name on it, with a topic on it, or, a, or an object. And if I find it, I take it out of the room of my heart. And I bring it to a beautiful field that is next to the house or the room or the apartment of my heart. I bring it to a flower field or perhaps there are trees. It's a beautiful place. It's a place for healing. And I'm there and the source is there and you might see an angel there. And you are there with the topic, with this object that was blocking you from being you. And so there's so much healing energy because the source is there, the supreme soul, an angel perhaps, and you. Only sending love and only being there. Nothing has to be fixed. Just the love and the light of the presence can heal this topic, can heal this object. Till it becomes soft and gentle. It might disappear like it's fading away, but some people feel it's changing into another object. And if so, you can replace that into your heart. You can do that now. Thank you for joining this morning and exploring this topic. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Um, that was a very inspiring session. And um, I've written down a few things for myself. I like the reflective thinking and also the question for myself. Who am I? What are my feelings? What is blocking me in a way? Um, and also the idea that if I'm really myself, I will feel light. I really uh, enjoyed how you have clarified that topic. Uh, but also these reflective questions are very helpful. Also the, the thought, what do I really want in life? And also uh, not to be worried about other people's part. Of course, we do care for others, but we should not be worried or trying to change other people's roles or parts. So thank you, Nancy. Our next um, session, 1.1-ness, will be on the 3rd of March. We will announce the topic and the speaker on the 1.1-ness website. Uh, also, thank you to the technical team. I hope you have all enjoyed the session today and have a nice day. Bye-bye.